This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at redox titration. A redox titration is used to determine the concentration of an analyte containing either an oxidizing or a reducing agent. This analytical technique can be used to find the amount of iron in a sample. In these titrations, the Fe2 plus ion is oxidized to Fe3 plus by an oxidizing agent. And here we have the half equation for the Fe2 plus ion being oxidized to the Fe3 plus ion. The oxidizing agent is usually acidified potassium manganate or potassium dichromate. Here we have the half equations for the reduction of the permanganate ion and the dichromate ion balanced in acidic solution. And here we have the balanced redox equation in acidic solution between the Fe2 plus ion and the permanganate ion. Next we look at an example. The data below is from an experiment used to determine the percentage of iron present in a sample of iron ore. In this table we have the mass of iron ore and the concentration of the potassium manganate solution used in the titration. In the table at the bottom we have the results of the three titrations carried out. We have the initial burette reading, the final burette reading and the total volume of potassium manganate solution used in the titration. The first titration is always a rough titration which means we don't use these results when calculating the average volume. If we look at the second and third titration we can see that the volume used is the same therefore we take the average of these two values. So the total volume of potassium manganate solution used is 22.50 centimeters cubed. The first step is to calculate the amount in moles of the permanganate ion used in the titration. To do this we use the equation N equals CV where N is amount in moles, C is concentration in moles per decimeter and V is volume in decimeters cubed. So here we have the concentration of the potassium manganate solution and we multiply that by the volume in decimeters cubed. And this gives us 4.842 times 10 to the negative 4 moles. In the next step we will calculate the amount in moles of iron present in the sample of iron ore. Here we have the overall redox equation for the reaction. To determine the amount in moles of iron present in the sample of iron ore, we need to look at the molar ratio between the permanganate ion and the Fe2 plus ion. So as you can see from the equation, one mole of permanganate ions reacts with five moles of Fe2 plus ions. So to calculate the amount in moles of iron, we need to multiply the amount in moles of the permanganate ion by five. And this gives us 2.421 times 10 to the negative 3 moles. In the next step, we will convert from amount in moles to mass in grams. To do this, we multiply the amount in moles of iron by the molar mass of iron, which gives us a mass of iron of 0 0.1352 grams. In the final step, we will determine the percentage by mass of iron present in the sample of iron ore. To do this, we will divide the mass of iron by the mass of the sample and multiply by 100. So here we have the mass of iron divided by the mass of the sample multiplied by 100. And this gives us a percentage by mass of iron of 36.72%.